Nelson's brothers released a rye in 2023 that we didn't even know they did. Uh, We grabbed this to try it. I'm not a rye fan. This one piques my interest. Stay tuned for the review. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskey. We're going to do a little... I guess the next couple episodes are all going to be local. Yeah. This is the Nelson Brothers Rye, uh, which apparently came out in September-ish, 2023. Okay. Never saw it, never even knew about it, but uh, we were at a Cooper's Club, uh, I don't know, event? Yeah, event. They had a whole bunch of all their different spirits out for sale. And uh, if you bought a certain number, you got like a little box, and I wanted a box. So uh, anyway, bought the rye. Teamwork. We both bought a couple yeah. bottles, yeah. so you, you got your box. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not a whole lot of information on this rye. Uh, it's distilled in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. So I don't know who's doing it for them, but yeah, distilled in Kentucky. So not 95.5. It's not their... 15 year. So if you go to the distillery, they have a bot of they have a 15 year rye that you can get. Uh, I think that's like a $200 bottle, and but you can get pours of it at the bar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's not that. Really wish it had the same flavors because apparently that's awesome. <laughs> uh, 15 uh, years it should be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but this is 40 bucks instead of 200. Instead of 200. Yeah, yeah. So is it? Five times worse? Probably not. I doubt it. That was a fun night. We had we got to do the little scavenger hunt. Yep. A um, couple take, couple pours. Cocktail. And then came home with swag. Uh, uh, bottles. Seven seven bottles of whiskey. Yeah. And a new hat. <laughs> and a new hat. And a new hat. I meant to wear that hat tonight since we were doing this. I forgot. <laughs> All right. We don't know an age. We don't know mash bill. We don't know. They don't give any information on this one. Uh, they're, they're, so it, it just is what it is uh, outside of, like I said, came out late 2023. It's not really a rye nose. There's no pepper. There's not a lot of spice. There's a little mint note to it, but not a. it's not an aggressive rye. No. This is, this, I'm going to say this is one of those uh, barely ryes, maybe like a 50 to 60% rye <laughs> and a lot of corn mixed into that. Definitely a little minty. Yeah, it's almost like a... Life safer mint. It's like really sweet yep. and, and minty and, and kind of zesty. Like it's spearmint. I get spearmint. Yeah, yeah, but it's like very active. I, I can't think of right bright. It's bright. If that's that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it it seems a little thin to me. It is only ninety two proof. Ninety three. I think it was it. It's ninety two and a half. Yeah. There you go. So it, it's kind of thin. Little light on the proof for what we're generally drinking. I mean, you go back to it now, you pick up more of the. I get more of the, the mint on the on the nose. Probably be a good cocktail mix. Something Ooh, with a little bit of mint forward. Sweeter. It's sweet. It's very it's sweet. Sweeter. And mint forward. So yeah. I could see that being playing really well into some certain cocktails. Like wonder, something that you want, like a little mint note to it. I wonder what the proof is on the 15 year. I don't know. I've never. I just think if this had a little bit more. I agree. Behind it. Well. I also, I have to assume it's, it's probably like, it's really a, close to that four year mark. My guess. It's, it's an easy sipper right there. It's really easy to drink. And, and at the $40 mark, that's a pretty good mixing price range too. So I'll be back there next weekend. There you go. Put me up to get it. Get yourself a rye mixer. Rye and maybe another bottle or two. No, I'm gonna say overall, this is. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's it's, it's good. It's there's no offending Mm-mm. notes that are coming off of it. It's just a. Uh, you weren't really, realized it was only forty bucks. True. And again, that's a good mixing price. <laughs> yeah. See yeah. what water does to it, but I don't really expect a whole lot of craziness change in this because it's already a little thin. It didn't do anything in the nose. I don't think. No, just super mint. A touch of maybe a pepper. I'm not really getting a dill. Maybe a 
like a clove, like baking note, baking spice note. Well, the mint, the mint is uh, amplified mm. with the water. It's still sweet. That's why it reminds me of like the lifesavers. Yeah. They're super sugary, but they're usually also like so artificially pumped with mint notes. <laughs> That's kind of what it comes. It's comes good. Across I mean, as. I would, I would just sip on this. I could go either way, with or without water. Ah, I don't think I don't. Water didn't make it that much better. It just changed it a little bit. Not not a material change, but for some uh, reason I feel like this one would be better on a cube though. I don't know why. Like the, I guess what, Maybe. what plays off with the mint, the cool, the mint and the, the cool, cool would yeah. be nice. Yeah, I could see that. Cool mint. I wish they. And this is coming from me. I wish they would finish, this and some things and proof it up a little bit and have it finished in a sherry cast or a cognac or a, a rum. Like, yeah, rum cast. Well, yeah. I mean that's an angel, angel's envy. Yeah. They do it. Um, honey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Wheeler's Ray did that one and it was. They did really a couple good. of them. They were good. Uh, so, and they did a rum one too, uh-huh. rum, the Ryan rum. Yep. So yeah, you, you could definitely, that'd be interesting if they could do that, but it's already sweet enough though. True. But that's why I said proof. You got to proof it up. It's got to be a higher proof. You can't do it at 92 and a half. No, but if you're going to finish it you think you got to go the 95 fiber out because you're going to get, you're going to pull If you did it, you pull the sweetness from a rum, you pull the sweetness from a a honey, honey or something. You're gonna need. Oh, it's over overly sweet. You're gonna have to balance it out. This would just be dessert, mm-hmm. dessert I, in a glass. I'm okay with that. <laughs> like a grasshopper, like a you know cocktail <laughs> yeah. type thing. Like I'm cool with that. Andy's mint, like yep. some kind of a chocolatey note, like yep. the Brackbriar. I'm sure they're they're toying around with that. They well, I'm be. thinking. Well, not... it's another way to reuse a barrel. Reuse a barrel. That's right. It's another way to reuse a barrel. Uh, it's another experiment to run, and they do like their finishing experiments. Didn't know they even had a ride until, until we were there last weekend. Um, but yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll pick one up when I go back to take my mother-in-law and her friend there for a tasting. Yeah, it's not a that's not a bad ride to have on the the, the bar shelf. Good price, decent proof. Well, it's like Adam, we Good. always we've always said before, like oh, it's. it's that's a high-end bottle. I don't want to make a cocktail with yeah. it. But, like, yeah. you know, with Adam, Adam's like, well, you don't want to use crappy. No, no. You don't want to try to cover up something. Right. You but want something that one, plays like well in the cocktail. You that go, plays you well. Can, 40 bucks plus it's great on its own. Right. Exactly. Yep. Better spirits make better cocktails is what he said. <laughs> There's some truth to that. There very much is. There's a few whiskeys that it doesn't matter what you do to them, you're not burying that flavor of that whiskey. <laughs> you said this is going to be a little, a little bit of a series here. We've got a few more bottles from we do from our uh, Cooperage Club event, which is which is fun. We actually got access to a bottle before it hit the that's right open market, so we'll be doing that one here shortly. But um, again, this um, we may have mentioned this before, but this it's a cool little spot. It is. It's a very cool little. You can do the it's. It's small tour, restaurant, bar, tasting. They've got a, a great menu for the restaurant. They've got a, two ginormous bars. Mm-hmm. You can get a flight or a cocktail. Like it, if you live here in Nashville or if you're passing through, this is definitely one to. It's a stop by. Just to stop definitely by. Definitely stop by. And they've got plenty of product. Yes. On that you can buy there. Yeah, their their gift shop has a lot of choices of of whiskey, not just the standard ones. Correct. So it's a it's the a finished ones. It's I mean, a great spot to stop. You won't find the honey. No, no. there are the, some all of the, the other ones you'll find, but not the honey. The the <laughs> ones that are distillery only releases last for a month to two months, mm-hmm. generally speaking. Uh, but almost everything else, if it's nationally distributed, they have it. Well, we hope you enjoyed our review of the Nelson's Brother Rye. Uh, it definitely surprised us. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're again if you're passing through. It's worth the 40 bucks to get the bottle. Yeah. It, it, it'll make a nice mixture on the bar. Yep. Well, we're, as, you, as we said before, we're continuing to, to, to grow this channel and looking for all the support we can get out there. If you enjoyed the review, we'd encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe. And then right up here, we're, I'm going to link. Uh, we have a playlist of all the different Nelson Brothers. <laughs> We've reviewed a lot of the different things that have come out of that distillery. So uh, link that right up there so you can click on this uh, and you, yeah you'll you can see all the different things that they've done and all the different ones that we've tried yep all right thanks for watching see you on the next episode cheers, cheers.